Hello, I'm Frank Tawley. It's now widely accepted that no tillage is the most sustainable way to grow the world's food. But how do we make no tillage sustainable in farmers' hands? All too often, farmers' crops end like this, even though they use machines from reputable manufacturers. But it doesn't have to be like this. Forty years ago, a team of scientists at New Zealand's Massey University began to research the reasons for no-tillage crop failures. The team leader, Dr John Baker, explained. Failed crops had been occurring since no-tillage was first tried. No matter how good it is for the environment, it was obvious that farmers would never adopt it willingly unless it could be made at least as fail-safe as conventional cultivation. We asked ourselves what the seeds really need in untilled soils. Do untilled soils behave the same as cultivated soils, or do they have different properties? We found they were quite different. Although we knew that all soils have air spaces between the particles, we did not know that this soil air is always at 100% relative humidity, even when the soil is very dry. In fact, it is 99.8% at wilting point, which is when the soil is so dry that the plants wilt and die. We also learnt that most seeds can germinate without any soil contact at all, so long as they remain surrounded by high humidity air. When soils are cultivated, much of the soil humidity escapes into the atmosphere. Seeds then rely on liquid water alone for germination, which comes